dues or dues. Um, we've had discussions at length in certain settings, um, in the formal official setting you wanted to be part of, where we talk about exotic material. I think it might be very helpful to the degree you can. Can you please explain um, what is what makes exotic material that has been recovered from the U.S. government exotic? What makes it di different from uh, atomically and chemically? It's actually a very simple answer. It's the way it's fabricated. It's the way it's fabricated. That's what makes it exotic. It's not a new element that's never been discovered uh, and placed on the periodic table of elements. No, no. Uh, the materials are in the periodic tables. They're either radioactive isotopes that we already know of, or there are any of the other non-radioactive, non-actinite elements on the table. It's just the combination of the materials is unusual. Uh, it could be that you could say that that's exotic, but it's the composition, it's how you use build the craft, the materials that form the craft and everything inside the craft. It's, it's quite exotic because uh, one of the company's uh, leadership was a young material scientist when he graduated with his doctorate in material science from uh, one of the, university, uh, one of the uh, Ill universities in Illinois back in 1970. And he was hired by Van Rich to work with him and uh, a team at Scopeworks. That was the uh, advanced projects age development agency. I think is what Lockheed Aircraft, if you called it back in those days. So, um, so basically, this is what he was telling me. He's an advanced material scientist, and he said, "Well, we could use the best diagnostic equipment we had back in those days, uh, which was 60s, uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and um, we could see the elements through mass, spectro mass spectroscopy that." compose these structures, but when we look at how they're composed and structured, uh, it's, it's like nothing we've been able to uh, fabricate on Earth. We've never been able to reproduce it on Earth. And we have no extrapolated engineering or physics technology to tell us or inform us on how we can possibly learn how to fabricate this on Earth. So they, they understood that it's the combination of the elements was very unusual. Uh, it was counterintuitive, but it's the way the materials are fabricated. That's what makes it exotic. Excellent. Thank you very much, sir. Um